Hello beautiful people of this beautiful planet welcome to my channel my name is Dr Aditi Bhatti i hope you're happy and healthy this video is basically for medical mbbs graduates and uh, students who want to pursue their career further in the united kingdom if you're anything like me from 4 years ago i was absolutely confused about how to and what to about everything that i needed to do to come over here so this is the video for you i had a lot of help from family and friends to guide me through this process which honestly it's not a very complicated process it's a little bit long process but if you know all the steps that you need to follow it's going to be very easy for you so in this video i'm going to be telling you in short about all the steps that you need to do and in the following videos i'll explain all those steps furthermore so let's get started Okay so first and foremost you need to know about GMC the General Medical Council it's a licensing authority of this country and it's basically quite similar to MCI in India so you need to register yourself with GMC and you need to have a license to practice medicine with the GMC for registration i'm just going to leave, leave a link down below in the um, section and uh, you can just go to their website read through everything most of your doubts will be clear if you read, read through everything that's been given on the GMC website and register yourself for license you need to go through step by step for an exam called as plap professional linguistic assessment board and before you can take plap you have to take an english exam Okay so step 2 is taking an English assessment exam so you have two options GMC gives you a choice between IELTS and OET so i'm sure you've heard about both these exams uh, you don't have to take both the exams you can choose either IELTS or OET uh, i IELTS is basically a little more difficult than OET because IELTS is completely English based and OET is professionally English based which means it's comes it, the exam comes from your medical background so it's going to be a little bit easier whereas IELTS I think it's a little bit more tough however I took IELTS because when I took this exam uh, IELTS was the only option and we need to have IELTS for visa which is not the case anymore so which is great so I'm going to explain about these exams later in another video so one of these exams you have to clear before you can you can actually book your plab exam which is your next step So your next step is booking your PLAB exam. PLAB has two parts. One is MCQ based, and second part is OSCE based. You need to pass both the exams. Um, after you are done with IELTS, you will put in your IELTS or OET. You will put in your um, certificate for the one of those exams onto the GMC website. Only then will you be able to book your PLAB part one. So you're done with that. You book your plan part one. You're done with plan part one. Then you can, you're able to book your plan part two. And once you're done with both the exams, then you're very very close to your license. So once you've passed both your exams, now GMC starts the procedure uh, towards licensing. So they need all your documents verified. So there's an online portal called. epic epic is basically an international uh, verification por portal for doc students documents so they're going to de verify your transcripts your degrees your internship uh, completion certificates and everything that they require from your college or your university and once the verification is done they're going to send it to gmc and when gmc receives verification of your documents they can process your license and it takes about 1 month or even less than that for gmc to process your license and provide it to you okay so once you've been given your license now you're open to apply for jobs in this country so there are two types of jobs training jobs and non training jobs non training jobs are basically uh, equivalent to um, junior resident jobs in india and training is basically post graduation but you need to make sure and understand that in united kingdom post graduation is not called post graduation it's called training uh, so non training is what i'm doing right now i'm working as an rmo so you can you're a trust doctor you work as an rmo or sho 
and it's basically it's kind of same amount of work same amount of pay but it's not training it's just experience and good money and training is uh, a little bit difficult to get than non training but you have to work towards it so what you can do is you get a non training job which you can get very easily after licensing uh, and uh, just get experience how things works in the nhs how everything everyone you need to deal with a very different kind of work environment over here it's a cultural shock as well so just get the little bit of experience for 6 months 8 months 1 year depends what whatever whenever you feel confident non training is quite simple uh, training is a little bit complicated again there are multiple sp- steps there core training there specialty training but uh, that's a very long process and a long shot for you if you've just started your procedure and there is going to be another video on this with full detail for now we have to start from basics so um, you get your registration with gmc you clear your english assessment exam you clear your plap part 1 plap part 2 you register with epic you get your license you apply for training or non training job and get into this country and trust me it's a very simple process it's not complicated all the exams are very easy if you choose oet over ielts it's going to be a little bit more expensive but it's a very easy exam plab 1 is mcq based it's much much easier than neat because neat we have a very huge competition so neat is a difficult exam plab is a very easy exam and it's completely clinically based so i find that very easy and uh, part 2 is a little bit difficult and complicated because uh, for foreign graduates like myself we have uh, studied in a very different clinical scenario we have different ethics they have completely different eth- different ethics so you need to take some classes some courses before you could actually uh, sit for plab 2 and it's not going to be difficult i mean i passed it in one go and i thought <laughs> i really was going to fail it because it's completely different and it was a very easy exam so the exams are easy the procedure is not very complicated it will take some time so if you start today within one year or minimum like maybe 15 months you'll be able to reach your goals if you start now So what I am going to suggest you right now is, if you are thinking about it, if you want to pursue a career here, start now. And of course, one more thing: you need to finish your internship before you can actually start PLAB. You can take IELTS before that. You can take IELTS during your internship or during your final year. But IELTS is, uh, or OET is valid for two years, uh, so you need to. it's better you start during your internship or after your internship uh, so if you want to pursue this then start now just don't don't overthink don't contemplate too much uh, don't procrastinate start now it's a very easy process and one day if you really work hard one day you will reach your goals i did i'm here now i'm like i'm doing my dream job i'm in my favorite city in the world I've worked really hard for this but I have reached here. I'm going to tell you what I keep telling my friends. If I I've reached here, if I've done it, you can do it because I've been a very average student in med school. I was not very studious. I didn't really study too much too hard, but I've worked really hard to get through this all these exams and everything and I have reached here finally. So if I can do it, you can do it. And if you want to do it, start doing it now it's going to be really great this country is beautiful people are over here are really nice the work environment is really good there are obviously complications with everything there are but if you want to pursue this go for it and do it right now so i'm going to link all the uh, leave all the useful links down, down below you can go watch them read through the gmc website and let me know if you have any questions you can just leave in the comments down below so that was this video i'm going to explain all the parts that i just all the steps that i just talked about it in separate videos so subscribe to this channel for uh, more information i hope this video helped you if it did let me know and forward it to all your friends who want to pursue this pathway and uh, thank you so much for watching i hope you have a great day ahead stay happy and healthy both physically and mentally i'll see you in my next video